This is Fitzy and Whipper with Kay Ritchie. Nova. If you think that when you travel um, overseas or away from home, that it's okay maybe to have a little bit of romance and that it shouldn't matter when you go home to your partner. Different postcards. Um, yeah, what, what goes on tour stays on tour kind of thing. Um, the story I read was about a woman called Georgia. She's in her 30s. She's actually in a, a happy relationship, or that's what she says, um, and she says she wouldn't dream of playing up on her partner when she's at home with him in Scotland. Mm -hmm. But when she travels, ever since she was in her 20s, she's had lots of relationships over the years. When she goes away, she just kind of feels as though it doesn't really count. So no one's going to know about it. It's just kind of part of the socialising that she does on holidays. She says she doesn't always, um, you know follow through and huh? end up waking up, up beside that person oh, right. but it's you know it's still it, cheating it, now, sometimes it? it well yeah but sometimes it is that and then other times it's just a bit of drinking and kissing and flirting and all of all of the above Do you know what is i suppose the question is okay here's the justification okay. for it. <laughs> what is cheating i mean where is the line well it's so, any kind of contact is cheating. All right, so I go to um, uh, Tommy and I were on the holidays. Fitz, I don't know if we mentioned this on Saturday night. We watch Kings of Mykonos together. So oh, let's great. say I find myself. What in did the you Greek think Island. of that film? Actually, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's Nick Giannopoulos is hilarious. It's one of the best. Are they still doing the dancing on the? <laughs> yeah, they do the dancing dance and stuff. Floor. It was so funny in 1994. Um, but if I found myself in Mykonos and I go, I meet this girl at a bar. We have a drink together. Her name is Savannah or something like that. And then we go down to the beach and we... Where's she from? Um, she is from... Well, Savannah seems. Puglia in um, Italy. Oh, wow. And then um, we go down to the beach and we decide to go for a skinny dip together. Now, there's no touching. There's been some fun chat. And then what, the next what, thing you know, why, we're why completely... You, what, what, what are the chances? What, why can't, oh, you, why can't you go for a swim in your undies? Because we've decided to skinny dip oh, together. Oh, look, I, I think the swimming... I think the, late, the line? I think the late night swim, regardless of whether you have your bathers on or not or your knickers or whatever it is, you, you're not... It, cheating you Cheating get? is begins when you look at each other and say, let's go for a little swim down at the beach. Yes, friends swimming together. No, you're not friends. You didn't, you've never met this woman before. She's friends, not your friend. Friends swimming together. Well, what about this one? Savannah. You've been married for 10 years. Okay. okay. You find yourself at a party. It's all a little bit of fun. It's about 3 a.m. The dance floor's pumping. And you have a bit of a party pash with a girl that lasts for, say, three to five seconds. And it's all a little bit of fun. Oh, that, oh is that, that, as long as it's yes. all a bit of Lizzie fun. Lizzie says no fun. in the corner no, of the room. No, she is. She's Tom, shaking her Tom head at you. Tom is saying, fingers crossed, it's okay. <laughs> uh, Matt DeGroote <laughs> says it's definitely fine. No, well, Tom's it's... got a video that he's showing us. No, definitely not. Fitzy's oh, being is... professional. Kate Ritchie's pretending to care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm saying you're right to go, guys. I, I absolutely do care because I actually think that there are a lot of people that head off on holidays for this purpose yes. in particular. Do they? Uh, yeah, because I, I I, I like it. I mean, some of them like being in their relationships, some don't, but then they plan trips away so that they can do these things that they alt- that they really do want to do yeah. without a level of guilt around it. I agree. If I'm away, I can get away with things that I wouldn't do at home. And you know why they wouldn't do at home? Why? Because they'd be worried about being busted. Yeah, exactly. I hooked up with so, a girl when we were overseas. Um, she stayed with me for the following two weeks. We're together now, which is great. Her oh. name is Lisa. Um, Can we well, get that's a, let's not go, cheating. Let's go to Maddie in Penrith. Penny, uh, Maddie, tell us about your friend. Yeah, so my friend was with her partner for two and a half years and then she randomly decided to go on a trip by herself to America. And mm. while she was in Vegas, she got married to a guy. Go on. Um, and it was supposed to be like a big joke thing, but they're yeah. still together now. Oh, so she God. cheated on her boyfriend from here. He had no idea. And then she just never came home as well. And then he was like, what the hell? Are we still together? And he's like, no, I'm sorry. Nope. Got married. It's Maddie, do you know? That's heartbreaking. Did she know this fella before she went to America? Great question. No, you think it might didn't. have been teed up? I do think well, that she if... she says it, it, she didn't. 
What are you going to think if your partner comes to you? Oh. I mean, maybe you're going th- through a, a rough patch or something and, and people do need time out. I absolutely agree with that. But just randomly, yeah, yeah. What, what are you going to think if BJ comes up to you, Fitzy, and says, oh, you know what, darling, um, I've just booked um, two weeks in Thailand on my own. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're right, the writing's on the wall, isn't oh. it? Oh, hey. You wouldn't mind if I went to Ibiza for a couple of weeks by myself. <laughs> Just by on yourself. my own. <laughs> so the family stays here. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. On Nova. Look, I, I have met guys before who love the... who I think are addicted to the thrill of the chase. <sighs> And they don't care what's in front of them. You didn't meet him at a footy club, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's... How did you know that? I don't know. Penny but, dropped. But they... It doesn't matter if they're in a relationship, if the woman was in a relationship, they were so brazen with their flirting and going for it that they just didn't care what anyone thought. Wow. Even if someone's watching from the corner of the room or they've got a boyfriend there, they're still willing to go up and have that chat. Well, this girl, her name is Maceon McCracken is her name. That's her there. She's quite a good-looking girl. Yep. Um, So she was at her husband's... I'll just put that out there. Her husband's... Um, business and he was um, he was out working he was off site so he wasn't there and they needed a sparky to come in and do some electrical work yep. so there was a group of electricians in there doing this big job so she was in charge she let them in she showed them what they had to do and this one guy kept staring at her and then she put this up on TikTok yesterday a little while later the electrician comes into the office because he needs to wash his hands in the bathroom which just so happens to be in the office I didn't think too much of it, but then he comes out of the bathroom and he was like, I just have to tell you that, like, you're gorgeous. It was like, it broke my heart when they told me out there that you were married. But, like, that doesn't bother me. And if you ever want to hang out sometime, like, let me know. I stuck a note for you in the cushions of a couch out there that we moved. And I was so caught off guard, so I didn't really even say anything. I think I just like, oh, ha, ha, ha. But, yeah, I'm married to the guy who's paying you. So the guy in the note, he said, not trying to get you into trouble, but you are absolutely beautiful, even though you're married. If you ever want to just have some fun or anything, I'd love to. P.S. If not, just disregard this note. You are gorgeous and the perfect example of what I think is stunning. If I was the boss and the husband, I wouldn't be paying him. I, I, I would forget too. about it. See, yeah. you, mate. No I, way. How dare you come in here and do that? Yeah, I know. Because you, you you're threatening could, my family unit. You can basi- and the business. You could basically blackmail him and say, "Well, mate, I could get you sacked." Do you know what looked terrible? The other night I was at a bar and um, there was nowhere to sit. Like it was packed, and then there was one girl sitting over in the corner in like a booth, mm. which probably sat around four people. And she's by herself. She's by herself. Right. So I went over there and sat next to her, and I said, "Look, I don't want you to think creep." <laughs> Coming up what to- a creep. <laughs> I said, I don't want you to think that I'm coming, I'm coming up to make conversation. I'm sure you're here with some friends. D- are you going to be sitting here long? Because I just thought I'd put my hand up and say, can you let me know if you're heading off? Anyway, in that time while I'm doing that, her boyfriend comes back from the bar or the bathroom, wherever oh, he'd been. Oh, no. And I very quickly, I just thought the optics of this isn't great. Yeah. So I very quickly went... Hey mate, I'm just, I just, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not here to stay. I just wanted to know if you guys were leaving soon. If you were going to be, I'm going to be standing at the bar. If you do head off, I'll yeah. be, put your arm up and yeah. I'll come over. I'm out here. I'm out here. <laughs> well, I, but it's, see, it's, I, I, I and then I kissed her. I've seen guys with a girl be with a man, like a guy at a bar. Yeah, and they might be there might be PDA, so there's public display of affection, and they might be nuzzling into each other's necks. And I've seen guys go over and not worry about the guy at all, and still flirt with the girl. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Some people just don't care. Um, one of the most brazen out and about um, attempts I've ever seen is probably Matt DeGroote on a, I would say something like a oh, Melbourne Cup day, <laughs> um, where you're out and about, might be a work function, no. and his ability to push up and all. Almost suggests that my card's behind the bar. Who needs a drink? Is Look, it extraordinary I, not, as a crowd blows up? I deeply miss mm-hmm. the thrill the of going up chase, and flirting. The chase, it's yes. an ego game. It mate. is. And Fitz, to your point, there have been various times where it happens the other way. Often at places like Establishment or Ivy, yeah. where the people who go there generally think they're the, the top tier of yeah. guy. Absolutely. And other guys yuck. hit on Bronte. And you just sit there uh, and you're having no. a chat and then they walk up yeah. and start talking to us like, 
Champ, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, 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 but like, look at the good looking now guy. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, out of it. Thought I'm in a suit and tie and I look like a banker, so how dare you? I you look like some worst. weird radio guy with a bald head. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.